Welcome to 5 Minutes of Faith, brought to you by Believers Ministries, where we're reaching the community with the love of Christ, one person, one family at a time. Join us today as we're taking excerpts from our guest speaker, Minister Doreen Dawkins from Ramon Christian Center. Today's subject, Don't Quit. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, and it reads, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight, and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. The first thing we have to embrace so that we don't quit is found in Judges chapter 6, verse 12. And that is to believe that the Lord is with us. Amen. There will be Amen. times in our Christian journey where it doesn't feel like the Lord is with us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we have to know that God will never leave us nor right. forsake us. And we have to just stand on that promise. Amen. The second thing we have to embrace if we're not going to quit is found in Judges, the 6th chapter, verse 13. We have to believe that our current circumstance is not our end destination. Right. The third thing we have to embrace, if we're not going to quit, is found in Judges chapter 6, verse 14, is to believe the call of God on our lives. Amen. The fourth thing we have to embrace so we don't quit is found in Judges chapter 6, verse 15, is not look down on the person that God created us to be. If God said it, it's a done deal. Fifth thing, that we have to do so that that we don't quit is not require a sign from the Lord. The sixth thing we have to embrace if we're not going to quit is found in Judges chapter 7 verse 1 is to be quick to obey what the Lord told us to do. The seventh thing we must embrace if we're not going to quit is found in Judges chapter 7 verses 2 and 3. If possible, dismiss the fearful and those people that are afraid. Eighth thing we have to embrace if we're not going to quit is found in Judges chapter 7, verses 14 and 15. And that's the enemy already knows we have the victory. Mm -hmm. Satan is a defeated foe. The ninth thing we have to embrace so we don't quit is found in Judges chapter 7, verse 15. Is take time out to worship the Lord in the process. The tenth thing we have to embrace if we're not going to quit is found in Judges chapter 7. Verses 18 to 22. God's plan will work if we work it. Right. Now let's think about this. That sounds mighty ridiculous. You done had 32,000 people. Now you, Then you went down to 10,000. Now you got three little hundred. And then the plan is to blow a trumpet and break some pictures. What? You don't have no Uzi. You don't have no, no gun. You don't have no sword. You don't have no spears. Just blow some trumpet and break the picture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they got to fight and killing each other. You got to fight. That's yeah. another thing we have to embrace if we're not going to quit. It's found in Hebrews 12, 1. And that's to look at the pillars of the faith and see how God showed up for them mm -hmm. and know that he has the ability to show up for us. The other thing we have to embrace if we're not going to quit is also found in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1, is to lay aside all the waste and the sin that does so easily beset us. Mm -hmm. that it's easy to stay in the place of sin and, and see, oh, this is get comfortable. Go through the motions and still believe that God is blessing. But Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. When we sin, something dies. Mm -hmm. The 13th thing we have to embrace if we don't want to quit, it's found in Hebrews 12.1. It's to learn patience. Right. Now that's a hard saying. Yes. I heard a message one time talking about the waiting room of God, and I just wanted to throw my Bible. <laughs> I sure did. I need a Dawson that you know, because I was probably balling up my fist in, in, in congregation. And basically, if you think about when you go to the, way, to the emergency room, if you have a broken finger, you might as well just wait and go to the doctor sometime. Because if you get there 
And you think you about to be, you know, count the people. Okay, there's only four people in here. Oh, glory. You don't have to wait that long. Woo! And then you think they just about to call your name. Here comes somebody with a heart attack. Well, guess what? You know you send some more. <laughs> don't let somebody go through a stroke. You send some more. Yeah. The waiting room of God, you don't have no idea when they're going to call you back. Right. And so it is with the Lord. Uh -huh. We don't have no idea when God's going to change our situation. Amen. But we just have to know. Amen. One of my favorite scriptures, but they that wait uh -huh. upon the Lord yeah. shall renew their strength. Yeah. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Uh -huh. They shall run and not be weary. Uh -huh. They yeah. shall walk and not faint. Yes. Wait, I say on the Lord yeah. Yeah. and be of good courage. Because yes. he shall strengthen thy heart. Yeah, Unfortunately, it'd be nice if we knew mm -hmm. when the change is going to come, but we don't. All right. So all okay. we got to do is wait. 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 The fourteenth thing we have to embrace so we don't quit is found in Hebrews chapter twelve, verse two. We have to look to Jesus to help us. Yeah. The fifteenth thing we have to embrace so we don't quit is found in Matthew twenty-four and thirteen. We have to endure to the end. We trust that the word has encouraged you today, and we cordially invite you to come out to Believers Ministries. We're located at 465 Waterbury Court, Suite E in Gahanna, Ohio. For more information on our service times, go to www.believersministries.net. God bless.